Senate Democrats have released more information about their alternative plans for the pathway to citizenship through the budget reconciliation process. These include a change to the registry date for undocumented immigrants, an update to provision 245I in the Immigration and Nationality Act, and extending a recognized status to undocumented immigrants. Stay tuned as we take a look at each of these right now, as well as the likelihood of Senate Democrats overruling the parliamentarian's decision. After having the immigration provisions in the $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation bill rejected by the Senate parliamentarian on Sunday evening, Democrats have prepared backup plans that they intend to submit for her approval. The first and most widely supported is an update to the registry for undocumented immigrants and beneficiaries of humanitarian parole programs that would create a statute of limitations for unauthorized entries. This means that anyone who is undocumented and entered the country before that date listed on the registry would be eligible for permanent residency. The reason this option has so much support is because it has been successfully implemented in the past and would not require changing the law, which was the primary reason why the Senate parliamentarian rejected the first proposal. The registry date was most recently updated in 1986 during the Reagan administration and was set at January 1st, 1972. According to Democratic Senator Robert Menendez, the registry date could be moved to 2010, allowing any immigrants who can show that they've been present since then to apply for legal permanent residency. According to an analysis from FWD.us, this would put approximately 6.7 million people on a pathway to citizenship. The reason why this wasn't option A is because there are a lot of dreamers, farm workers, TPS holders, and essential workers who would not make the 2010 cutoff. The second option being considered is an update to the section 245I of the Immigration and Nationality Act, which allows family members to petition to adjust the status of a relative. This is also a law that is already on the books, meaning that the parliamentarian wouldn't be able to object to it on the same grounds as her previous decision. According to USCIS, Section 245I enables individuals who are present in the United States to obtain a green card regardless of how they entered the U.S., whether they were working with or without authorization or whether they have continued to maintain lawful status since entry. To qualify, they need to be the beneficiary of a labor certification or immigrant visa application. And a third option that is mentioned by Senator Menendez would give undocumented immigrants a recognized status that would not put them on a pathway to citizenship, but would likely enable them to work and live in the United States without fear of deportation. This option would most likely be better suited to an executive order than to the budgetary reconciliation process, and its impact would definitely fall short of the other two alternative options. In addition, the plan to recapture the green cards and address the visa backlog are still on the table, and I will be making a separate video about that soon. So if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do so now. There is a lot of talk about overruling the parliamentarian's decision. Many immigration advocates have pointed out already that she didn't respond to the points Democrats submitted to her and that her decision seemed to read more like a political ruling rather than evaluating each point on its merit. Overruling the parliamentarian has not happened since 1975 when Vice President Nelson Rockefeller overruled the parliamentarian on a matter regarding the filibuster rules. More recently, Republican Majority Leader Trent Lott fired the parliamentarian in 2001 after they issued an unfavorable decision. Unfortunately, Senate Majority Whip Dick Durbin told reporters that Senate Democrats don't likely have enough votes to make this move, that calls to remove or replace Madonna are not constructive. If they do not find a satisfactory way to address the pathway to citizenship, that 65% of Americans do support, they could end up losing the votes they need in the House of Representatives to pass their $3.5 trillion reconciliation bill. As Lorella Praelli, co-president of Community Change Action, said, that rift could extend to the alliance between the Senate Democrats and immigration advocates if Plan B fails to sway Madonna. I want to be really clear. Nobody Nobody gets to hide behind the parliamentarian. If you didn't catch the details of Elizabeth McDonough's decision and her reasoning for rejecting the immigration provisions, I will include a link to that video here. I will also continue releasing more information on the pathway to citizenship as more information becomes available. So be sure to subscribe.
click this link to watch the next video and I'll see you there.